what a series it has been or it still is i'm gonna let the suspense because i decided to record a big talk at the beginning of the video because if we win it it will be the end of the series but then i realized at 10 minutes that i talked so much and i said everything that i wanted to say that actually even if it's not the end of the series and we don't win that game i'm still gonna post it so might be might not be i'm, I'm gonna talk a lot so i'm not gonna do too long of an intro just wanted to thank you guys so much for being part of this journey also i decided to to go full-time league now so my next content is going to be just my climb to challenger it's going to take the time that it takes but now i'm fully 100 focusing on that and building my whole life around it and building my whole life around league in general so i think i'll talk about it during the video but i can only afford to do that if i get you guys support so if you enjoyed that series if you enjoyed that video feel free to drop a subscription a like a comment and if you want to consider coaching i put all of my information in the description thank you guys so much for being here Hope if you enjoyed the video, much love. Okay, guys, if this game has been posted, it means that this is the last one of the series. We're at 79 LP in Diamond 1 right now. We're gaining around 24 per game. So we just win that game and we'll get two masters so it's the end of the series i hope you guys enjoyed it as well as enjoyed uh making it and posting the videos and trying to find always interesting games throughout the the journey so you can see how you can actually have an insane impact and take control of your games and not be controlled by your games it matters so much uh with Trindomir, with the state of Trindomir that we all know yes it's pretty bad but hopefully i showed you ways new ways other ways to impact your games uh so what can i say from this climb what do i want to say well I'm, I'm probably gonna make a whole video like just about it like face cam video without the game being played where i talk about like in depth of like silver gold platinum emerald diamond etc most likely like short version of it will be silver gold like you can win 90 95 percent of your games um every like it's it's almost always carryable and i feel like you could just focus on stomping your lane knowing your matchups and playing your waves fine you're gonna have an advantage not only on your laner but on the rest of the game because people like still fail to cs still fail to play the waves correctly still fail to gather experience and gold so just beating your 1v1 but like actually like really beating him like not just like having a lead like it's okay you're having a lead this on another silver player but that makes you a good silver player you know but actually like to become a good player you need to punish the mistakes and and well hopefully i showed you how to do that um consistently and you can use my matchup spreadsheet as well if if you don't know much about the matchup and it's gonna help you i'm sure well this enough can help you like carry games uh, without like having to implement too much uh, macro knowledge or mid to late game because your team most likely doesn't know much about macro either so so yeah, just be there and fight with an extra item on everyone and most likely you're gonna win them, you know. Anyway, starting in Platinum, uh, it gets it gets a bit more concrete, a bit more complete. Like, you need to be not only someone that wins lane, you need to be someone that's able to win lane and understand like how he's gonna translate that lane, lead, play for objectives, and transit transition this from mid to late game. I'm not saying that if you're gold and silver, you shouldn't focus on mid to late game, you know. um but yeah and then emerald bro like i've seen so many clips etc about like challenger players saying that emerald is the new like elo hell and 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 even like Aloy struggled in emerald etc like shit like this and i th i thought they were coping but actually at some point i went 10 and 10 in emerald <laughs> like i've been spending more time in emerald than high diamond uh or diamond and it's it's a weird place to be man so i feel like emerald the biggest challenge of emerald is uh your mental but it's actually good like if you're no elos you can focus on how does she how does she not get the plate here or the vital what okay this is good for me we trade some for some but we also trade plenty of hp 
ah bro i mean that's that's the problem of talking too much the issue is if i talk too much and then lose the game well i will have to redo the talk so i guess i will need to focus a bit on the game still um okay the wave is not the worst i was gonna say it's good because i'm gonna sustain this hp um anyway yeah so silver gold like you can you can focus on early game uh platinum start focusing on mid to late game emerald you focus on the mental and then you, you kind of become a complete player you know and then diamond is kind of like just refining and being consistent so you kind of work on consistency and again like it doesn't mean that you shouldn't work on consistency in silver or you shouldn't work on on uh on your mental in gold or whatever but you get the, you get the idea you guys like it's i feel like the one thing that will give you the biggest flat advantage over the other players in your games at the different elos um so basically things that you should always do regardless of your level and knowledge is doing the thinking which i didn't do here for example like i'm kind of autopiloting here and it's a bad thing and i mean i know i'm doing a bad thing i'm kind of allowing myself to do that here so doing the thinking um like before the game starts you need to understand what's the dynamics of the lanes what's the dynamic of let's say scaling what's yeah just try, try to understand like how the game is going to look so you can understand what's going to be your role in that specific game why do you ping me okay and then then jungle tracking as well i'm not doing it this game but you've seen me do it a lot try to understand like jungle tracking is not on the enemy's jungler it's also your jungler try to understand where there is going to be a number advantage what is your jungler actually playing for on the map like this kind of things really important and then the last thing is just like planification like if you're not having a plan at any point in the game you're making a mistake you need to always have a plan and do something for a specific reason. And this plan, like something that I used to do at some point is have a timer. And every five minutes I would have a clock like ticking, like I would have a beep, pretty annoying. And that will tell me, okay, like that, that, that was just like something to break the autopilot mood and be like, okay, do you have a plan right now? Whenever I hear the beep, I'm like, what's my plan? Oh shit, I don't have one. Well, I fix it. Or what's my plan? Well, if I do have one, well then... It's good, you know, I just try to make it happen. And I did that for a couple months. And at some point I was like, every time it was beeping, I was like, well, shut the fuck up, you beep. Like, I, I know what I'm supposed to do. Like, you're just bothering me. And then I know that I fixed my issue, you know, of not having a plan. So, yeah, in the general scheme of things, I've been kind of doing the same things again and again. I'm muted. That's all you are. Here, for example, my plan is to keep the wave here and pretend that I'm not dangerous and go for level 6 all-in. I know that Evelyn might come and help this. So I'm ready to ult in case, but I see Evelyn now on the map. Uh, we chilling, just play. And guys, don't you dare think that it's gonna get better. <laughs> if you have inters, trollers, whatever, Z bot, if she ain't, go bot, compensate. It's okay, be better. um yeah don't think it's gonna get better don't think you're not gonna like yeah this like i'm getting into it but like there's so many trolls in my game platinum is such a shit elo bro like this is diamond one look at look at my bot lane they're already like one and five flaming each other uh going me to like take Z experience etc so it's it still happens grandmaster and challenger it's never over so the only thing you can do is not like 
say okay it's gonna get better then it just like work on how you react to that because again like it's just it's just part of the journey sadly like i wish and i'm one of the guys who wish the most that this wouldn't be an issue that you need to deal with but it is so now it's just like how you actually deal with it Oh shit. Okay, ends up working. Uh yeah, Evelyn could be coming. I don't think I can hold the nice freeze here, so I'm actually gonna look to press this first. Gonna ult. Okay, never mind. Okay, good enough. She has Tiamat so she cannot freeze the wave. I can keep working on my items. Uh, so yeah. Uh, what else do I have to say about this entering two masters claim this season? Well, also I can talk about what's coming next. Uh, what can you expect on this channel? Because it's been like probably one month that I've been posting. Uh, and ring to masters content. Um, well, now I'm not gonna play any game that's under my main elo slash MMR until I'm challenger. Like that's it. Like I said it, and I'm gonna do it. Uh, I put everything into place in my life to actually be able to fully commit to climbing as high as possible. I've been close to challenger in the past. I've been four wins away from Chell. So if I did it, I can do it again for sure, being four wins away. And then I can probably do even better because I wasn't as intensive as I am right now. And I'm ready to, like, what I'm doing this month is I'm working hard IRL. So I don't have to work for a few more months. And I can fo focus fully on everything that revolves around League of Legends, which means coaching. Climbing, um, creating content, etc. etc. I'm doing a big focus on that. And if I make enough money with this month's work, or if I make money through coaching, I will actually use that money. Everything that I make, I basically invest it in my projects. That's that's the way I see things. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit scared of Evelyn, but on the other hand, I really want to base with Kraken. I still don't have it. Do I want to sell my D-Blade that early in the game I know like you shouldn't but I feel like I feel like doing it okay so so yeah I'm going for a big challenger climb and if I make enough money I will get a potent coaching so I can work on my silent split pushing. I will get a Buipo coaching because I think he's probably the best top lane coach that you can get uh, these days. I will get another ranger coaching. Um, I still have to get Frappy's coachings, my performance coach, who's a pro player as well. And I still have one that he kind of owes me. And what else? I've seen that Ule does coaching now, so maybe consider an Ule coaching. An ally has been slain. I mean, starting to, to be a lot of money though. Let's see how much XP that actually gives. It's not as good as I thought. Can you stop hitting me, Krabs, please?
Okay. Well, my jungle and mid are in good. My bot lane. Well, it's actually getting better. And. And I'm doing amazing myself. Managed to come back from that early. Um. Okay, what else can I talk about? If today is is talk day, uh, I see that they're threatening my bot, my bot turret. So I really want to play for top turret here. So I make sure that we get T1 of the game. Okay, uh, well I can talk about actually, talk more about the coaching because like I'm so stupid, like I'm supposed to make money from League, like that's my end goal, you know. But the thing is, as long as I'm making money on the side, because like, well, most of you probably don't know, but I am also a teacher. But recently I've swapped from teaching to being a, a coach, uh, how can I call it, I'm a sales coach. Kind of. I mean, yeah, that's what they do. I coach salespersons. Um, and as long as I know that I have this uh, thing on the side. And that I will have money flowing in. Well, I don't feel any emergency from like to make money from this from League. And that's a big issue. Because, well, I'm, I'm being very slow on that part. So what I will do, like, for example, I, I post content daily, but I never advertise the fact that I even do coaching. Like, some people don't even know that they coach, and they've been watching my videos for quite a long time. So I will start advertising them. I will start, like, kind of sponsoring my own vids. And I also want to create a course. But if I create a course, I want it to be the best possible. And something that, yeah, it's just, like, uh, a big bundle of videos and extra content that you can get if you pay like just once and you get access to it. I will put that on Notion, I think. Uh, so you get access to the Notion if you pay a certain amount. And I think something that will make my course different than others is that I want to make sure that it's an, a course that evolves with time. So I would say like, e for example, every two months or every like uh, five weeks or something, I would just like rewatch every vid and see if any of them is getting old, I would change them. So for example, I'm going to do like a Trindomir course and there's going to be uh, like a part of it's going to be around the build, you know. But if the build changes, the issue with the current uh, bundles and, 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 and courses that you have is that something changes and the course doesn't change. And I feel like that's like that's so bad Like you're paying something that just like loses so much in value. So I decided to make something. Wait, did I not grab Harold? Eh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the price of talking that much. It's okay. It is what it is. I have my second item now. I did not take it. I no 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 no. But we have soul points. Why are we playing for top wave? What? What are we doing? What is this? What is this? What? <laughs> like legit? What are they doing? Okay, maybe now we can go. Ah, give her the shutdown. I didn't have my E. I, I entered, like, I didn't have to go there. I really thought that we would be able to kill her before she kills us. My bad. Okay. We still get more than they do, but... No, that was, that was pretty bad on my end. 
I'm so stupid. Uh, what else do I have to talk about? Well, I guess it's been enough talking, so now I would actually focus on the game. Let's see, what's the state of that game? Um, well, we could have a third uh, three drakes. I guess we didn't play for that. I would go bot, I win side against pretty much everyone. Uh, so I'm pretty fed and I win side. Cassidy is scaling, he's level 12. He's not super fed in items but he's doing pretty good Zed is doing good though and Zed is pretty good into casa i believe um my adc is pretty far from his second item so there's a big adc dev the good thing is actually my champ can be decent at killing as if i have my sums uh i can be decent versus uh evelyn as well Okay, let's start it. There's Nash in 130. Also, we have uh, scaling on our jungler. Shivana is a really good scaler. The thing is, I feel like sure I can just push waves with Hydra. So I think I will most likely look to bring Fiora like like. Keep her stuck on Silane and look to impact the rest of the map. Yeah, for example, here I bring her side and then I take mid turret and I just like cannot do that on CD. There's a drake in two minutes. Hopefully this time we play for it. Okay, now that I talked so much, I really want this game to be the last of this uh, challenge. Uh, what am I doing? Ah. Okay, not too bad. I just base. Okay, pretty good. Ah, she went back in. Touch. I didn't track where Kessadin was. Ah, she didn't go back in. We, we would get uh, Nash here. Play Greek. The good survival will work you. It's okay as long as you thought something. Don't risk dying for that. No. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. She got double kill. What the fuck? But this, Shivana, Shivana. What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you top again? Jiv! Ah! But come! What? But Jiv! <laughs> She's not coming! What can I do? Hello! 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 Come! What? Now we're late. And now she's going in. But what is she doing? Ay, ay, ay. I'm gonna go crazy, man. She did all of her top games when all she needed to do was smite. Oh, 
Oi, 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 oi. Oi, oi, oi. How many pings, man, does one need? How many pings? Yeah, let me just drop some vision here. We win through side 100%. Oh shit, percent open something. Wait, me. Wait, my pressure 45 seconds without playing. Okay. Now that was too crazy, man. How does she not see that that's the play? And even if she doesn't see it, how does like 15 pings not affect her? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I has blue buff. Okay. Everything's bot. Ah, oh, shit. She gonna die. I should have ulted, I panicked. I thought she would burst me. But she was more concerned about not dying than, than killing me. Oh no, it's an issue. Oh, okay, I guess if he's pushing. Can go for a demolish proc at least. I mean, I ask him to wait for my pressure, and they don't wait for my pressure. He has blue buff, so... Wait, my pressure. I mean, I mean, I guess they kind of waited, but they didn't know. Like, just that uh, Evelyn was bot, but they didn't know that, though, when they made their play. We could also try to use... Well, again, they're not waiting for my pressure. And take this. An enemy has been slain. Okay, take this, take this, take this, take this. Nash, 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 Nash. We have Kalista. Uh, I got this case fresh. Yeah, I'm thinking. Don't worry, bro. Don't worry. We're just swapping. Uh, B or break. B or break. B or break. They didn't be for Drake there late. They did blue buff. You can still stop doing camps. I mean, I guess she needs fury, but she like she's not gonna get her dragon form in time. Okay, I can go for a flank. This could end the game. I 
it's so sad they didn't get the W on both of them. I need to be careful, I get one shot. Not sure. I can end here. Ah, that didn't hit. Nice! GG! Los que jugamos rol nos podemos quedar carbos mucho estrés. Uh, I'm not sure if I understood that. No sabe si lo comprendo lo que te dices. Uh, <laughs> okay, nice, bro. This game was not easy. From well, the spot lanes early game and the fact that I was really not focused. But I guess we did it. Okay, guys. Well, I'm really happy that we did it on this game because like i i didn't want to just go back and explain all the things i explained already hey, thank you okay then ring to master series is done now and it was a fun raid it was a bit of a longer raid than it should have and now now you know what comes next now it's it's the challenger climb we, we like we need to do it we're gonna do it so okay something regarding the challenger climb well first like thank you so much guys for watching the videos to that point or just watching this one uh well we're gonna keep the videos going one, one once per day so next video is gonna be tomorrow same time same place until then take care of yourselves guys could again have fun in game and in real life and i'll see you next time peace bye bye much love